Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a really pretty shimmery beachy eye look. I'm going to be using this Milani eyeshadow palette. And I noticed that two shadow shades, two shades here are missing. So this is how it looks. Really pretty. One matte, but these three are shimmer and they look so gorgeous. I'm gonna see what I can do with these. I might need to get um, one shade for the base. I think I can, because I definitely don't want to use this one as a base. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use all of these, but I want to use one color for the base. Um, or I can just, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me go get that color. Okay, so the color I chose as a base is this light gray shade. This is from the NYC. Um, super, super old, as you can tell from the packaging falling off. But this is 786 Sky Rise Steel from... Uh, New York color and yeah this is super duper old but what I have left I think this was just a white but this is a black shimmer and a silver gray so I'm going to be using the gray silver for the all over color so but let me start with my foundation and as always, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Fit Me 102. I go back and forth between, I think I got 101. Oh, and I think I got a Wet n Wild one. Um, also matte, but the first one that I started using is this. And as I say, it's not my favorite, just in terms of it doesn't do total coverage. But especially for stuff like this. Just for the minimal coverage, this usually works pretty well. And I have my Hookah Shell Beachy Necklace here. I was hoping, I guess, this summer, no summer's practically over, to go to the beach, but that didn't happen. We usually go to um, Puerto Rico. We have a, uh, my family has a beach house down there. But, um, the last 10 years, well, I guess the last couple years, they decided to permanently move down there. And they bought a property that they use. as an Airbnb. So, anywho. But they got that place <sighs> when I was still in high school. So, very long time ago. So, definitely nothing new. And I was hoping to go there. We didn't go really anywhere this summer except for the trip you saw part of it anyway when we went to Oklahoma that was literally it this year and yeah but you know I hate traveling I hate flying 
not flying, but the airport. Oh my god. Um, so, but I was hoping back in May, I was hoping that I was going to be able to go visit Seattle for my birthday. That didn't happen, so we didn't go anywhere all summer. Except for in Oklahoma and then a few small things. Um, so, hmm. last year we went to San Diego. The beaches there are so nice. And I love Escondido. I love, um, can't remember the name of it. But that big hotel, that big, really popular hotel. Yeah, it's called Kundit. I don't know, whatever. I went there last year. This goes pretty decent coverage. And then we went to. After that, we drove down to San Antonio, and this was last summer. Um, okay, I have, look, so I redid my makeup storage, so this now has all my um, mascaras, and this has brushes with pencils, eyeliner. Because it was getting to be too much with all the stuff on the in one thing, so I'd have to as my um, eyebrow pencils got shorter and shorter, I had to dump everything out just to get to them. So at least here, well, I don't have to dump everything out as much, but they're literally on the bottom because they're that small now. So, but at least I don't have to take a bunch of stuff out. I can just take this out, grab it, and put the stuff back in. But yeah, getting to be a hassle. So, this is what I was talking about when I say that I sharpen it all the way to the bottom, to the end. And then I feel like I get the most out of it. So, that's literally what I do. And it's still... And it's still perfectly good. So, oh, of course I get it everywhere. And this is the L'Oreal Brow um, Wiz, I think, I'm not sure, in brunette. So I can get away with the light browns and the brunettes. And it's a perfect, perfect color. Eyeliner. I bought a new eyeliner, but I'm still using this black one. I'm going to use black today, even though part of me is thinking that it's going to be a little too bold, but I think I'm going to get away with it.
I'll clean it up in a minute, but I just want to put... Okay. I think I put enough, but I think I'm going to buff it out. I'm definitely going to buff it out. Okay. I have this one. And I also like to use this one. And what up, hyper left? I'll bring up here. I think the shadow can cover that. I want to clean it up a little more, but I'm going to clean it up after I put the um, eyeshadow on because maybe it'll look better. I don't know. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to use this silver gray shade as the all over color. I recently started using grays, it's very soft grays. Um, very light browns um, for all over base color. So let me just do that instead of what I used to use: um, creams, nudes, whites. Um, I started just trying out some different uh, base colors. And I'm actually glad that I'm starting to branch out and use something different, just kind of getting out of my comfort zone when it comes to eye makeup. Um, because I just think it's a really nice look. And it comes out really nice. I like to put it a little underneath. I could put more, but I think I'm going to leave it alone for now and just add more on towards the end. But I think. So we're going to leave that alone for now. And I'm going to use Start This Milani palette. I'm going to use the gold and this matte. So, okay. very good. Okay, so that went on really nice. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but I just want to put on Okay. Yes, I know. I'm going to clean it up. I think I can also just use this. A little bit of the silver. I'm going to use a little bit of the silver underneath. And then on the side, just to clean up whatever mess I made, bring this up a little. So there you go. So this is really nice, but so the gold. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. Oh my god. This gold I'm gonna do on the inner. Hmm, 
doesn't even look very bold. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cover it. And then I'm going to put the, I'm going to use the shimmer one actually. Um, up here. There we go. Oh, that's like orange. There we go. And since I have the hooded eyes or whatever, I'm going to lift it up a little more because when I open them, especially in this one, you can't really see it that well. So this is going to go all the way up here. So is that. And it looks kind of orange, but anyway. And then I'm going to go back with that silver that I used in the beginning, and I'm going to add in a little more. I'm right there, going up to clean up that area a little bit. There we go. So yeah, oh, this foundation kills me. But especially I think for this, freckles might be okay. Did I get more freckles or did the light change? Because <laughs> let me see what I chose for lipstick. Is this really pretty coral light pink shade? This is the cream lipstick. Revlon and Sassy Mob. I think this would be good. And I think I used this one yesterday. And I'm going to put a little of this gold. Maybe a little less than that. <laughs> Tempting to make it shimmery, but I think I just, if I buff it out very heavily, I think I could do it. But let me do the mascara. It is my my uh, Great Lash Maybelline, if this one is in the dark brown. Which I seem to use this one a lot. Okay, so now that I have the, just as I thought, now that I have the eye makeup on, I do like that I made the eyeliner heavy. Um, Oops, see, of course I did that. <sighs> Let's use a little foundation.
So now that I have everything together, the thicker, lower eyeliner works out. It could be a tad, I don't know. I'm going to put blush, but I'm going to use, just like I did last time, I'm going to use my eyeshadow as a blush. These have tons of pretty blush shades. <laughs> it's a little more. I'm going to dumb that down a little. Should have brought my powder. But I'm not getting up now. I'm gonna use a tad foundation. small amount. Pat right there and just to lighten it a combination of this thing and hands. So it's not completely coming off, but it's just very faint. Okay. So... uncomfortable sitting here. Okay, so yeah, this is my look. Um, I could darken my brow a little more, but I do want to keep it fairly light. Um, really, again, of course, just focusing on the shadows. I think it's really pretty though. I kind of want to I don't know how to use this. Bring up a little more. Um I think this works out pretty well. So, yeah. I enjoyed attempting to do this look. Um, this is a very old, both of these palettes are very, well, this is very, very old. This is 10 years old. This is probably five years old. And um, so, yeah, it takes me forever to go through makeup, like I've said before. So, I still have a lot of stuff that is very old. Um, but I'm falling in love with again, you know, creating new looks. So um, I would love to do this black. I think um, since I've gotten more confident with doing um, darker eyeshadow looks, um, I stayed away from black for a very long time um, because it was a huge mess. But now that I know how to work with these darker shades and different looks, I can go back and to a look, so I'd love to do this um, black and silver, and I'm glad that I got to use this. It's really pretty. I wanted to see what I could do with this one, so I think it came out pretty well. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked the look, 
and maybe got a little inspiration. Now you can see the um, luscious fainter. Good. Looks like sunburn. <laughs> but I like that I did the silver here. It came out really nice. The gray, it actually turned out into a silver shade. And I'm glad I like that I stuck with the thicker, bolder eyeliner look. Because I knew that once I started applying more eye products, it would kind of not look so bold. And rightly so, it came out really nice. So I enjoy doing this look. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again in the next video.